Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. I sprayed my buffalo grass about a week ago. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after a week, and while we're at it, we're gonna fill in all of the bare spots. Actually looks pretty darn good, but all of the spots like this, which are all over the place, those will fill in a little bit later as the buffalo grass grows stolons, but I have the seed, so I'm gonna get those filled in. And we're gonna take a look at some of these weeds and how they're dying back after about a week after the spraying of quinclorac. Normally, I would wait until right before the second spray, which is in about a week from now, before I did any filling in, but these seeds were prepped for the stairway area in the dwarf orchard there, and I prepped way too many seeds. I got that planted, oh, four days ago or something like that, and last night I was thinking, well, I better just add some seed to that and soak it overnight and go get that planted before I lose the seed. Let me show you what that looks like over here real quick. You can see little bitty grasses all over the place. The whole area has these tiny little grasses and there is still more sprouting every day. So this area is doing really well and the areas that I fill in with are going to do the same. It'll only take a couple days before this stuff pops up. It really loves this hot weather. So I'll bring this smaller bucket, get the seeds into there, my little hand rake, and we'll bring a scissors along and I'll cut the tops off of some of the weeds. Not a super need to but some of the weeds are getting pretty big. They're dying, but they're getting pretty big and shading out the buffalo grass. So on those weeds, I'll just cut the top off of them. Interesting work coming up in just a couple days on the tiny house. Make sure you stick around for that. All right, let's get this filled with seed and get out there and start overseeding. Another note, usually I soak the seed for about 24 hours then drain the water and add a bunch of vermiculite and stir it up, which dries things out and makes it easier to spread the seed. But I couldn't do that in this case. It's already mixed with the vermiculite. It was already wet. I added seeds and then soaked it again. Some of these seeds have been soaking for two days and you could see they're really swollen up. And like that one right there, that one already has grass coming out of it. So, we really need to get these in the ground. I still have that much seed left, which is probably a little more than what we're planting today. And I'll start the soaking a little bit later and we'll go plant that hopefully tomorrow. I gotta get some vermiculite and we'll do it right. But this batch is already what it is so we'll go get it planted and like i said we already have grass sprouting in here so it's going to be no time before these areas fill in really nice i did a review of mulch glue yesterday and this stuff actually works look at that mulch it's almost vertical and it rained pretty hard last night and it didn't wash away. I also used the hose on this pretty intensely right after I got done and everything is holding just fine. Okay, this is the Big Rock Prairie and it appears to be very well filled in. I don't know if we're gonna even find any places here. We'll start at this far corner back here which is probably, yeah, there's places where it's not filled in. Okay, 
Let's get at this. Oh, will you look at that? I mean, there's a couple little areas, but one plant that is like six inches away from another plant, that area right there is fine. I'll get some right here, but yeah, this is looking really good. Okay, let's get at it. Yeah, there's probably going to be much bigger areas to fill in, like over in the triangle. I can also do what I call weed and seed, where you pull a weed out and make a hole in the ground, and you fill that hole with fresh seed. Yeah, there's little plants all over the place. This area right here is pretty empty though. I'll get that whole thing. So you got one right there. And like I said, these reproduce both by seed and by stolen. And the stolen looks just like, I don't know if you'll know what it is, but a spider plant. Those were real common when I was young. They have like a, kind of, it's kind of like a root, a air root, and a bunch of little plants growing off of it. And each one of those little plants can, well, or will, send out roots and become its own plant. I can show you that real quick if I remember on one of the areas that has existing buffalo grass. Okay, I will check back with you in a little bit. Like I said, I don't think there's a whole lot to do in the Big Rock Prairie here. Well, so far there was almost nothing through here. A fair amount along the edge over there, but that never got seed to start with. But along this top part, I had just killed the grass. You could see the dead grass there. So it's fairly sparse all along here. Good deal right in there and a whole lot around this tree. I've already done this area right here and I'm going to come back to do this, but still working my way around the tree. Got a fair amount of weed grasses that escaped the last spray. I'm just going to hand yank those out of there. And this whole area right here, I started back there. So from there all the way forward and then over into here needs some reseeding and this front area, look at how nice that area is. Whole bunch of crabgrass there, but this area right here is pretty sparse as well. There's areas that have plenty of grass, like right in here. That'll all fill in. I'll just add a couple seeds here and there, but this area right here definitely needs some more seed.
Okay, I worked my way all the way, well I started in that corner and I went all the way over to the rocks and then I came up through here, got a lot around that tree and a lot around here and I'm out of that seed. The rest of the seed I'm going to wait, like I said, until the day before I do the next spray and I'll get in here and do any patches that are left then. There's a couple in here. You could really fill in any of these little spots, but in reality it's not needed. The bigger spots like this, even that will fill in really quick. Each one of these plants gets really big, and then like I said, they send out all those tillers. So any open ground, say you have plants all the way around an open patch, all the plants that are there are gonna send tillers into that open patch and it'll fill in in no time. But I'm probably gonna use up the rest of that seed anyways. I haven't checked on the triangle in quite some time, so we'll probably go take a look at that and then end this. Yeah, this is by far the best little patch right here. The least amount of weeds and the grass is doing really well. The grass is a little more mature here, but there's a whole hell of a lot of weeds. All of the yellow foxtail, all this yellow stuff, is dying off really well. But some of this mustard stuff and some of the other weeds is not dying quick enough. But once I hit that with the next spray, I'll probably get in here and trim in this patch before I spray again. But this will get sprayed again, and then after that, a whole lot of this nonsense will be gone and a lot of the plants that are little right now are going to be a lot bigger in a week. The blue grandma is looking just beautiful. I can't wait till this stuff spreads down to the lower areas. It's already doing it over there but it's taking its sweet time right here. But all of this seed that it's producing, these eyelashes here, all of that seed is going to wash down there. So with any luck, we're going to have pure blue grandma on the side of this hill next year. I'm probably going to get a pound of seed next year anyways and hand seed some of these areas, but you would think with all of these seeds, that's a lot of seed, you would think with all that seed that some of it's going to wash down there and fill in. Show it to you around the corner as well. Looking beautiful. These are the stolons. You could see that it's on like a shaft and it's already rooted. This was all bare just a little while ago. And we got all these stolons. You can see them coming down from the grass here. Trying to find one that's loose. There's a loose one. So those will spread into any open areas and take root like all of these did. All of these have root now. They'll move into a bare area and fill it in really quick. Here's one that just went over the top looking for a place to fill in. I'm gonna cut a few of these off and try to pot them in a little while. Should have done that already, but haven't had the time. Yeah, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these ready to be potted. That'll be a great way to propagate this stuff in future years. I gotta hurry up, this camera keeps shutting off. It's too hot out here. It's 105 with the heat index. So the camera just keeps shutting off. All right, here's the triangle. And most of what you see is buffalo grass. Wow, this is doing really well. Camera shut off again. I went in the house and let the camera cool off for about a half hour, so should be good to go for a little bit. All right, this area is looking real good. And by real good, I mean it's got a lot of yellow foxtail, but that's dying. And it has a lot of buffalo grass. Yeah, this is where I had the fire, so... I can fill in in this area a little bit, but again, 
not much of a need to fill in anywhere else. I may just plant something else there and save that seed for next year. I do have to get in here and kill stuff like that. That's a tree. And I should go through here and trim. But other than that, yeah, this is looking real nice. I have been killing this area back for quite some time. So that's probably why there's less of the broadleaf weeds in here. All right, let me show you one more instance of the stolons. Well, this will be pretty cool right here. You can see them working their way down the hill right here. They would eventually fill in this whole area, but they're working their way down right here, going right over these concrete pieces, filling in in between the concrete, Yeah, this stuff really fills in the empty spots. Look at that. It's kind of like hair coming down. And it looks like that's all from this plant right here. And it all has roots. That is so cool. So that's gonna wrap this up. I wanted to show any reseeding that I did so that I know exactly what happened in a few years from now and for the record this area right here it was killed back but when i seeded this i just threw the seeds on the ground and stepped them in and this is how well they took yeah there's buffalo grass everywhere here it's hard to see some of this probably only germinated within the last week or so so yeah this place is going to fill in really nice i do have to get rid of the blackberries and the raspberries though they are very persistent this area right here was solid blackberry and it looks like that's gone for the most part okay so i guess the next thing that you'll see on the buffalo grass planting is me trimming this and then we have another spray of queen chlorac in eight days and from there on in it gets a lot easier that next spray will get a lot of the stuff that was missed the first time and the majority of this foxtail will be completely shriveled up and gone by then yeah this area is going to be looking really good but this area right here is going to look by far the best. I like this rock wall down here and we have all of these other native grasses growing already. Hardly any weeds in here either. Okay, so if you want to see the progress on this buffalo grass, it's probably only going to be a couple more videos this year. Make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.